a light burden. In the worship of God, whom we call Jehovah Jireh, the provider, he provides. He provides peace, prosperity, and human salvation. Without God's provision, we would all be lost, our spirits facing destruction. God provided a ram as a substitute for Isaac when Abraham was ordered to sacrifice him. Humans should rightfully die because of sin, but God exchanged humans with his son, who was crowned with thorns. God sent his word to become human, to live among us, not leaving humanity alone. If a new soul in the church is not taught the word of God, it's like a child born to parents but left by the roadside. Surely, they are in danger, hungry, thirsty, could be hit by a car, and so on. A church that doesn't educate its congregation in the true word of truth makes them spiritually destitute and almost dead, a congregation who, though having a home, wanders, empty, and vulnerable to attack. Christians who go to church but are not born again are the most pitiful, for they are sinners always accused by the law of Moses. Especially when their teachers cannot differentiate between the law of Moses and the gospel, equating them, teaching by mixing the law of Moses and the gospel will surely confuse new souls. According to a survey, 95% of God's servants do not know the difference in the authority of the law of Moses and the gospel. In church, the congregation hears, don't do this, don't do that, which only adds to their pressure. God's purpose in sending His Son is not to burden but to release and liberate people. The gospel is God's saving power, whereas the law of Moses burdens, so that people fear God's law. Because humans have fallen into sin, they must be told how to escape and be freed from sin and death, so God gave the law of Moses. The law of Moses does not release the burden of sin but tells us to know Jesus who releases the heavy burden of sin. The Lord says, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest, Matthew 11 verse 28. Jesus doesn't impose obligations on us, snatch our rights, but gives relief. Therefore, realize and repent so that your sins are forgiven. So that the Lord brings the time of relief and sends Jesus who was originally intended for you as Christ, Acts 3 verses 19 to 20. It's very easy to live a life of faith in the time of grace. Light, comfortable, and not like under the heavy and complicated law of Moses. The time of relief has come, all that's left is humility and turning to God. A person sentenced to death cannot save themselves but must be saved by the king. We are not only commanded to hear the word but to obey it and do it. The word of God can sleep in the Bible. If we only read and memorize Bible verses, it only fills the mind and burdens. We who know the justice of God's law but refuse to come to Jesus are in vain. Therefore, the Holy Spirit must enliven the word in our hearts. When the word of God enters, there must be a response from us. Like when Jesus healed the paralyzed man, your sins are forgiven, hallelujah, I don't have to go to hell. Pick up your mat and walk, then it's very easy to move, lifting the mat is easy because the spirit has already left hell, Matthew 9 verses 5 to 6. Must leap like a calf released from the pen. Must be grateful, even if one has to sell a house or even give up their life for the name of Jesus. Give an offering, this is easy because one is grateful and filled with great joy, one who has suffered from leprosy all their life but was healed by Jesus, Matthew 8 verse 4. They used to seek healing everywhere but couldn't find it. Now the skin is smooth, no more sores and smell, can live normally like others, can even look for work. A person filled with gratitude, without being forced, obeys with joy. A person bound and possessed by two thousand unclean spirits finds release and healing. Once possessed by the unclean and tormenting spirits, thousands of disgusting creatures, unable to be expelled by anyone, causing unbearable suffering and annoyance to him and his family. When Jesus instructed him to tell his household about the deeds of God and proclaim Jesus, Mark 5 verses 19 to 20, it's very easy for him to proclaim the deeds and mercy of God upon him. Because he has experienced it firsthand, all he has to do is tell the story. 
How can someone who has not experienced the living God be driven to testify? Come to Jesus, O oh, you who are oppressed and burdened, he will give relief. The yoke he gives is light, for those whom he has freed joyfully obey his word, not out of compulsion but willingly and proudly. If we love someone, whatever they ask for help, we will be happy to do it. Jesus has saved us from death, shall we turn a deaf ear to his words? Let us obtain true relief from our Lord.